Hi, I'm Alec Dinkoff from Autofies. I hope you had a chance to check out our last explainer video. In this video, we give a step-by-step -step coverage of how our platform works. This will help you get acquainted with Autofies and start your journey in the audiobook world. Thanks for choosing Autofies to record your audiobook. Let's see how it works. First, open your browser and type in www.autofies.com. Next, click the Projects tab or Login tab. Both will ask you to log in. You can log in with your Facebook or Google account, or click Register to set up a custom username and password. The account can be associated with any email you want. Just make sure you get your email verified by logging into your account to proceed. For the Sign Up option, the email will be the primary source of contact. The push notifications will be sent through the registered email or the one that is associated with the third-party service provider. Now click on Add Project, type in the project name, and you can add a description as needed. A project name is not unique, and you can have multiple projects under the same name. Click Create. Now click Upload Book, then click Choose Files. Upload your PDF. After this, a prompt pops up based on the status. You will get an email notification once it is done, as you can see here. Now we wait for the text extraction from the PDF. A three-page PDF can take four to five minutes, so your time will vary based on the PDF size. You will receive an email once it is completed. The email will have a link to get back to Autifies. You can always click the inactive toggle to place the projects on hold whenever you want. You can access the inactive projects tab and make them active again to have them show up on the current projects listing page again. The next step is to verify the PDF that has been uploaded. So click the verify book button and it will take you to this page. Here we have the opening credits, closing credits, and the retail sample. To edit, click the opening credits title. The content will be displayed on the right. When you are done, click the Save icon and then choose Yes, Save Changes. The magnifying glass can give you a preview of what the page has to offer in terms of content. This includes the cover page and any illustrations if they are available. To delete a page, click the trash can icon. For the upcoming pages, it gives us the paragraphs in those pages that are again displayed on the right. Options like Merge, Create New Text, or Insert Another Paragraph are available since there might always be a need to convey something with more emotion than that of the physical copy of the book. The Delete and Save option is also present on the bottom right wherever applicable. It's up to you to choose what options you will and won't use. You can also click on Merge All Paragraphs to get all the content under the same layout from that specific page. The Confirm Page toggle can lock the page as an edit proof option. Do this after you are satisfied with the changes or edits for the recordings on the next step. These steps are offered to alter the layout of the paragraphs for effective reading. Please be aware, there is no option to add extra paragraphs for opening and the closing credits sections, but additional text can be added and saved accordingly. You can jump directly into a page using the Go To option on the bottom left. This way you don't have to scroll through each page. Once you have confirmed every page, the permission to go to the next section of Group Pages is granted. Click on Group Pages and click Confirm as the final verification. Recording a book is a time-consuming process, and the creator can always resume where he or she left off from. 
The grouping of pages is done so they are ready to be grouped into chapters. The audio of each paragraph gets stitched together to form chapters. As a quick note, the number of audio files at the end directly corresponds to the number of chapters. There is a view option for the pages to be viewed at any time. Once you've selected the pages, click Add Chapter. For example, if 20 pages need to be selected into one single chapter, then select the last page and all the pages will be tagged and selected. Deselecting the pages can be done with the help of a single click as well. Now we have the different pages grouped into their respective chapters. There is always an option to reset the last group chapters or reset all the chapters together. You can go through the pages once again to get the desired chapters. Once all the pages have been grouped, click the record button to proceed. The chapters grouped will be inserted into a default audio format containing the opening and closing credits, which can be recorded separately as well. You can always get immediate assistance for any specific page by clicking the information button. The microphone button on the bottom is clicked to start recording. The permission for the microphone needs to be granted for this to work. You start off with a noise profile to be recorded. This is done to get the room or environment tone into account to be submitted for processing. It is recorded separately and needs to be done in a silent environment. This helps our sound engineers remove noise and other unwanted frequencies your recording environment might contain. The audio engineer support is available only for the standard and premium plan users. Each page would contain different paragraphs that can be recorded and the check mark will pop up once it has been uploaded to our SoundCloud. The font size can be increased or decreased or reset to its original size as per the vision preference. The design flow helps you to get done with the recording sequentially without difficulty. Once the recording is completed, you can click the play button to re-listen to the audio before proceeding to the next one. The scrub button gives you a choice to manually go through the recording and edit necessary parts like removing silences from the sound stream. This is done by clicking the de-silence button and our software makes sure it automatically identifies the silences and shows it to you. Other standard edit options like Clip and Undo are also present. Once you have edited with the Scrub option, proceed to the next page. Repeat the recording process for every single page. The Done with Recording button pops up only after you have completed all the recordings and the files have been uploaded successfully. You have three pricing plans as listed, and they have their differences. The basic plan does not provide audio engineer support and also has a limitation on the number of pages that can be uploaded. The standard plan offers both audio engineer support and more pages. 
The premium plan is the best for end-to-end -end transition, as we will be storing the files within our cloud, and also provide complete support to get your audiobook published. After your selection, you can choose the desired payment method from the two options that are provided, PayPal and credit or debit. Click the Generate Audio button to submit the audio files to our audio expert. A prompt pops up conveying the same and letting you know that an email will be sent once the audio files are ready. You can check and download the invoice copy which is attached to the email. Once you have processed your payment, you can come back whenever you want and resume from the project's listing page. The audio files are assembled by us. Remember, the time it takes is based on the number of recordings and pages that need to be processed. Once it is done, the email you will receive has a link back to Audifies. The status report of each and every project is always available on the project's listing page, and you can click the refresh button for updated information. Click the Verify Audio button, and you will be directed to the audio optimization page. You can check the number of files and then proceed by clicking the Optimize button. This is where the audio gets processed from its standard recording format into a format that is compatible with ACX standards. A quick reminder, the Optimize option is available only for customers who choose a standard or premium plan in the pricing section. The tuning in progress can be observed on the project's list page, but the Optimize page will still be accessible to download the audio files whenever you want. Click the Refresh button to manually have the tile updated. Click on the Verify Optimized Audio button on the project's listing page to get the final optimized audio files. Customers can play and download the audio files and check on how the book turned out. Be aware that even after optimizing, the Reject Audio button takes us back to the record page. It is used to scrap your project and you can re-record the entire book. Click on the Build button to get a zip file of all the audio files. You will receive an email informing you on the progress and when the audiobook is generated and ready for download. Click the link to proceed to Audifies. You will see the status of the audiobook is 100% complete. Click Download Audiobook and then click Download on the Optimize page to get your files saved on your local storage device. There is always an option for you to download the files by accessing the completed project through the project's listing page. After you've completed your audiobook, check out our next video on how to publish it. This has been our How It Works video. The next step is to understand how to promote your audiobook and manage your sales. Our next video gives you an outline of what to expect when you want to publish your creation. Check it out, and thanks for watching.